Madrid is Spain's vibrant capital city, pulsing with energy and filled with rich history and culture. While not quite as attractive or majestic as Barcelona or Sevilla, the culinary and nightlife scenes here are Spain's best, and Madrid's fabulous museums are some of the finest in the world. The city center is relatively compact, with a constellation of charming plazas, parks, and residential neighborhoods branching out in each direction. Overall, the city core is quite walkable, and the excellent metro system is safe and efficient. The massive Parque de El Retiro is a giant green space that offers a wonderful respite from the intense summer heat. Madrid offers a truly broad spectrum of accommodation options, from luxurious international chains near the big museums to quaint neighborhood posadas. In this video, we recommend our nine favorite areas and the best hotels and attractions in each. Before we go any further, know that everything you see featured in this video, plus in-depth travel guides to all of Europe's leading destinations, including Paris, London, Rome, Amsterdam, Athens, Barcelona, Lisbon, and many more, can be found on our site at SantoriniDave.com. Don't miss our two great maps featuring Madrid's best neighborhoods and hotels, and you can find those links in the description below this video. Here are our nine favorite neighborhoods in Madrid that we recommend for tourists. Centro, Huertas, Malasaña, Chueca, Retiro, Salamanca, La Latina, Lavapiés, and Arguelles and Moncloa, which is also known as Princesa. We begin with Centro, the downtown core that encompasses a handful of smaller neighborhoods that is home to most of Madrid's most popular sites. The large Puerta del Sol Plaza is at the heart of it all, the economic, intellectual, commercial, and transport nucleus of the modern city. This is literally the central point of the entire Iberian Peninsula, kilometer zero from where all roads in Spain radiate. It's also where visitors will find the famous national statue El Oso y el Madroño, the bear and the strawberry tree. To the southwest is the Plaza Mayor, the medieval main square of the city, now a giant courtyard surrounded by one contiguous building on all sides. In the area surrounding Plaza Mayor, you'll find the popular San Miguel Market, packed with food stalls, the Lujanes Tower and Casa Cisneros, the Basilica of St. Michael, and Botin, the oldest restaurant in the world. On the western edge of Centro is the impressive Royal Palace Complex, the largest in Europe, surrounded by beautiful gardens and the splendid Almudena Cathedral. Here, you won't want to miss the spectacular views from the Corral de la Moreria, great any time of day, but especially at sunset, and a few blocks from there, the Teatro Real, or Opera House. Centro's northern side is where you'll find Gran Via, the premier shopping district in the city, which is also home to a handful of theaters. The bustling main boulevard is packed with tourists, flashing lights, and street performers, and lined with department stores, high-end fashion boutiques, and restaurants. At the far end, you'll find the lovely Plaza de España, where the frenetic energy of Gran Villa gives way to a large green space that transitions into the Royal Palace complex. Madrid's best views can be found here from the observation deck atop the Rio Plaza Hotel. Our favorite hotels in Centro include the Four Seasons, Palacio de los Duques, Hyatt-centric Gran Villa, and Cool Rooms Palacio de Atocha. Next up is Huertas, which is the zone between Centro and Retiro. This area is in close proximity to the top museums, with many great bars and cafes lining the streets and sidewalks, as well as independent bookstores and shops that lend the neighborhood a bohemian vibe. Plaza Santa Ana is Huerto's main square, surrounded by bars and eateries, and fronted by the Teatro Español. Popular Calle Huerta leads directly to the Paseo del Prado, the leafy major boulevard that's home to Madrid's main museums. This artsy zone is home to the delightful Casa Museo de Lope de Vega and the Caixa Forum, with galleries, exhibits, classes, and performances, and an impressive living wall on the main exterior facade. Hotels we recommend in Huertas include the Westin Palace, Hotel Urban, Gran Hotel Inglés, and Atocha Hotel. The Malasaña neighborhood sits in northern Centro, just a few blocks off Gran Via, with a bit of a grungy feel and an active nightlife scene. While far less seedy than in decades past, 
it retains some of this character in its graffiti-covered walls, but is now also a hip scene of vintage shops and trendy cafes and bars. There aren't a ton of sites here per se, but a few popular spots include the Plaza de Dos de Mayo and the Church of St. Anthony of the German. Hotels in Malasaña are cheaper than in Centro, though not far away. It's a good area to get a decent hotel at a reasonable price. The best is Hotel Atlantico, along the northern side of Gran Villa, and the nearby Walt Madrid is another good choice. The Chueca neighborhood is just east of Malasaña, north of Centro, and also steps from the busy Gran Villa thoroughfare. A center of Madrid's LGBTQ plus community, fashionable Chueca is filled with boutique shops and especially shoe stores, and busy day and night with visitors enjoying the many restaurants and cafes that fill the narrow streets. The Mercado San Anton is a popular stop with myriad food stalls on multiple floors surrounding an open interior. Local attractions here include the History Museum of Madrid, the National Museum of Romanticism, and the Palace of Longoria. As in Malasaña, Chueco is a good place to look for affordable hotels, with lots on the cheaper end of the spectrum as well. Hotels we recommend here include Only You and Urso Hotel and Spa. East of Centro and just across the central boulevard Paseo del Prado is the large Retiro area, home to both the fabulous Prado Museum as well as the beautiful Parque del Retiro. Though the other two museums fall just outside its boundary, Retiro is commonly considered to be the home of the famous Golden Triangle, the three most well-known museums in Spain, the Prado, the contemporary art of the Museo Nacional Centro de Arte Reina Sofia, and the private collection of the Museo Nacional Thyssen Bonemisa, all a short walk from one another. The sprawling Retiro Park is a true pleasure to enjoy, with its many gardens and fountains, and tree canopy providing much-needed shade on a hot day. The park includes a lovely botanical garden, a small lake with paddle boats to rent, the gorgeous Palacio de Cristal, and the Palacio de Vasquez, an art gallery that's an extension of the Reina Sofia Museum. Other museums in this area include the National Museum of Anthropology and the National Museum of Decorative Arts. Directly south of Retiro Park is the main transportation hub of the Atocha train station, which quite uniquely includes a large botanical garden inside its arched interior. The green open areas in this zone make it a great choice for families. The best hotels in Retiro include the majestic Mandarin Oriental Ritz, the Palacio Retiro, and Hotel NH Madrid Atocha, conveniently located just outside the train station. To the north of Retiro Park is the affluent residential neighborhood of Salamanca, a quiet and tree-lined area. Visitors flock here to luxuriate in the Golden Mile, a concentration of high-end fashion boutiques, art galleries, fine dining, and five-star hotels. Salamanca is also home to a handful of the city's lesser-known but still excellent museums, including the National Archaeological Museum, the Museum of Natural Sciences, the Lazaro Galdiano Museum, and the Soroya Museum. Salamanca hosts some of the city's finest hotels, including the Rosewood Villa Magna, Santo Mauro, Unico, Barcelo Emperatriz, Phoenix Gran Melilla, Relais and Chateau Orfila, the Pavilions, and Hospes Puerta de Alcalá. South of Centro is the La Latina neighborhood, famous for its historical architecture, La Latina is home to a handful of stately churches, including the giant domed Basilica of San Francisco, the Royal Basilica of St. Francis the Great, and the Church and Museum of St. Isidore. La Latina's narrow streets are also a big nightlife center, with Calle de la Cava Baja a great area to wander, eating and drinking at the colorful stretch of tapas joints along the way. La Latina is not especially known for having great hotels, though there are some good mid-range options here. We recommend the L&H La Latina, Posada del Dragón, and Posada del León de Oro. Lava Pies is located between La Latina and Huertas, directly adjacent to Centro and also very close to the big three museums. Just a few blocks from Atocha train station, Lava Pies is still a bit gritty, but also hip and trendy. 
this multicultural neighborhood is home to various immigrant communities and a stretch known as Curry Row, a collection of South Asian and other ethnic restaurants. On the edge of Lava Pies near Retiro, the modern and fabulous Museo Reina Sofia is the National Museum of 20th Century Art and home to one of the best collections of contemporary art in the world, including Picasso's iconic Guernica. There aren't too many great hotels in Lava Pies. Some good ones that we suggest include Hotel Art Trip, Casa du Soleil, and Atocha Hotel Madrid. And lastly, the Arguelles and Moncloa area, also known as Princesa, located to the north of the Royal Palace Complex. This residential neighborhood is removed from the busy downtown area with tree-lined streets and the large and pleasant Parque del Oeste, making it a great choice for families. In the park is the iconic Temple of Dibod, an ancient Nubian temple gifted to Spain by the government of Egypt after it was dismantled and removed to make way for the Aswan Dam project. The temple was reassembled in Madrid in recognition of Spain's aid in protecting antiquities disrupted by the dam's construction. The park has some wonderful city views, including to the royal palace in the distance. A few excellent hotels in Arguelles include the Barcelo Torre de Madrid and Melilla Madrid Princesa. Check out our many great travel guides that cover where to stay, eat, and go for popular destinations across Europe and around the world at SantoriniDave.com and across this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.